Hey everyone, welcome back. So I know I've been away for a couple of weeks um, for these types of readings and I don't know how many of you may have seen my community post about it but I did have a death in my family so that's why I had to skip over last Sunday's reading. But I am back, I am okay in case you guys are wondering. And yeah, everything seems to be back on track so everything should be on schedule, on time from here on out. And yeah, thank you so much to everybody for understanding and for all of your support and for everything else. All the personal readings um, had quite a few, well just a few, <laughs> emergency readings after I announced that. So it's interesting to see how many people actually feel um, that urgency at a particular point in time. Um, yeah, I don't really recommend getting those, especially not regularly. But if you do feel like you are feeling very, very um, stressed or very, very anxious and you would like one, just email me and I will let you know when I can have it. Just so you know, I do also charge an extra $50 for those. All right, on top of whatever reading you want to get. So with all of that said, let's talk about today's reading. Today's reading is going to be for Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines in Divine Soulmate Connections whether that be twin soul, twin flame, or just whatever you consider to be a divine soulmate. Um, and I will include the karmic element in this one. Um, I know that last week when I was supposed to do the reading, it was just going to be the general one, but I feel like most of my subscribers do have a karmic situation, if not a karmic person involved. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then we'll be back on schedule. Next week will just be general um, DMDF reading. So let's get into it. We're going to start by looking at what is going on with the masculines. Just overall with some oracle cards. And then we'll move on to everything else. All right. And do take the messages as they resonate. Do remember also that all of these readings, they're general. So... They're not going to resonate for everybody or they might just resonate in a different way, okay? So take the messages as they make sense for you and if they make sense for you. All right, so let's see. For the masculines. All right, we have success. Give me one sec. And we have letting go. Alright, so this is what is at the forefront of their minds. This is what is going on at the moment. They really are trying to be successful at letting go whatever is not for them. Um, I feel like what, what's really going on here is that they're seeing success or they're beginning to think of success in a different way than, than from the past. Alright, so now they're understanding that they can let go of certain things from the past that they thought meant success. And it's like now realizing what, um, and if they're not realizing, they're just really, um, this is what they're working on, okay? This is what their spirit team might be helping them work on. This is what they're working on. This is what they're thinking. All right, what does success really mean? And what can I let go of and still feel like I am successful? Or how can I successfully let go of what does not serve me? So let's just get a few more. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have understanding, stuff, and free will. So this is exactly, I feel like for those, obviously, because this reading is for those um, where the masculine is most likely the one going to be involved in a karmic situation or relationship. All right. And I will be doing the reading as if it is a relationship. So just feel free to, um, to adjust the messages. All right. If it's a situation. Um, <clears throat> They, this is what they're understanding. This is exactly what I was just saying. They're understanding the stuckness of that situation and what does it mean to really have free will? How can I use my free will in a way that will bring me success? It's like these are the, the issues that are playing out now in their lives, in their minds, and even at a soul level. Understanding the stuckness and how free will has played a role in this and how they can still use free will in order to be successful when it comes to letting go. 
All right, so that's actually a very, very positive start. And I have been feeling this, actually, that there's just this deep, deep understanding. Um, of course, it's going to manifest in different ways on the 3D. But let's see. All right, so masculine's energy towards the karmic partner or situation. And of course, if, if you're a feminine and you're the one involved in a karmic situation, okay, just again, take it as it resonates. Because we all have masculine and feminine energies in us, so... Alright, so we have the Eight of Swords in Reverse, the Tower in Reverse, and the Four of Swords in Reverse. All right, so there is a lot of restlessness here. Um, there's, see, here's that stuckness showing up here with the Eight of Swords. It's in reverse because it's like this understanding that they really want to let go. All right, we have also the letting go card here. There's a lot of understanding around how they have kept themselves stuck based on their own choices and out of their own free will. It's kind of like, you know, um, coming to this understanding of how much of that was actually, oh, that I should, and that this is what I'm supposed to do, and that this is what I am obliged to do, or whatever um, society's expectations, or how other people will think of me, based off of my own free will. Or even in the case where it's not social programming, because I know there are cases um, like that as well, it's still this sense of, why did I choose that? Why have I chosen this? Why have I chosen something that doesn't resonate with me on a deeper level? And so this is why we have the Eight of Swords here in reverse because they're thinking about this having been trapped. And it's like now they're beginning to think of this in a different way. Um, opening up to that realization that, hey, there are solutions. My hands are not tied here. I'm not chained to this. I do have the free will to get out of something that doesn't serve me. Um, there is still though some healing here that needs to that needs to happen. And for a lot of them it's like, you know, they when, I mean, when is it that you're completely healed? You know, there is no very definitive line as to when that is. It's kind of like an ongoing process. So for some of them, yes, they could be letting go. They can even be in that process and then still be healing in the meantime. And then even continue healing. All right, but what I'm seeing here is that, yes, this is something that is still happening. They're not 100% healed when it comes to the way that they think about this and so they might still be avoiding a little bit of a tower <clears throat> so yeah you know it's like i'm beginning to see solutions i'm beginning to see the light i'm beginning to see that i've been keeping myself here stuck out of my own free will i don't like this anymore and so there is that movement, all right? There is that progression, but there's a little bit of avoiding that tower. I feel like they have, because um, we've had towers in the past, we've had really, really big ones as well. Um, and not all, of, not all towers pertain to the exact same thing. All right, so what's happening here is that they may have had towers of realizations or of things falling apart, um, the relationship with the karmic partner just having deteriorated more, having uncovered truths about it, <clears throat> having fallouts, mini separations for some of them. Um, but there's still a little bit of resistance to like the final tower, which is like the huge, huge step, the huge um, change. Let's see what else? All right, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Six of Wands, and the Five of Swords. All right, okay, so when it comes to their attitude here towards the karmic partner, relationship, whatever, there's a lot of 
coldness. There's a lot of emotional distance. I actually even feel like the masculine is being a little bit hostile, um, possibly towards towards the situation or this partner. Um, maybe even rude, not because they mean to, not because they want to, but this is just how all that tension is expressing itself. Um, there's... That's, yeah, that's how it's manifesting because they're feeling all of this. They're feeling that stuckness. They know that they're there um, because of their own free will. But at the same time, I feel like at the moment, they're processing it in a way where they might actually be blaming partially the karmic for a lot of what has happened. Um, and of course, for each of them, it's going to be different. Um, for example, um, they may be blaming the karmic for leading them on and making them feel like, you know, this relationship would be different than what it actually turned out to be. They might be holding some resentment um, because, well, the karmic hasn't made it easy for them to let go. If they've tried to let go and to separate in the past, maybe the karmic um, has put them on a guilt trip. Okay, it's going to be different for everybody. But whatever the case, I do see them feeling a little bit... Um, <clears throat> I want to say their ego is also getting in the way. It's kind of a, like this mild defense mechanism where they're just kind of projecting a little bit onto the karmic right now. All right. So, but that's okay because they will they will get past that. They will get past the stage and and fully fully understand that. Well, you know, it doesn't matter what the other person does. You know, when it comes to your own life, it's what you do. Um, you can't blame the other person for the situation that you are in. Yeah, it could you know. Obviously, both parties contribute, but you are ultimately responsible for your own life. That is what they are beginning to um, understand. And what is happening right now is leading them to that, to that realization. So I, I get the sense that there might be some arguments um, because the masculine is, is cold, because the masculine might be a little bit rude. There's a lot of tension coming up, the masculine, you know, feels like he or she wants to be right, and I feel like for those that, for those of them who were people pleasers, it's kind of like now, it's all like, <laughs> um, everything that was bottled up is coming up, and it's coming out like at the other extreme like really standing up for themselves but to the extreme where you know it might create more more conflict in the relationship so it is good on the one hand but it, it's like yeah they have to find that happy medium and they will once they once they um complete this phase just to kind of let it all out so that all these emotions and all of these thoughts and everything can be processed then they will be able to balance themselves out somewhere in the middle all right, so um, I don't even feel like we need to clarify anything here. It's The messages just came right through. Let's see. Let's see their energy towards their feminine. And then we will look at the feminine's energy as well as what is coming up. All right, so masculine's energy towards their feminine. All right, we have the Two of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Sun. Actually, I think this, the Sun may have been in the middle. doesn't matter. All right. Some mixed feelings here for their feminine. Um, I feel like there's a lot of contemplation. There's a lot of um, doubts concerning whether... Whether the two of you can actually come to some kind of an agreement to make things work. They definitely, they're still seeing you as their son though. They're definitely feeling very, very warmly about, about you. And there's the sense of enthusiasm also. All right. But at the same time, I feel like they're not really sure if you feel the same way. And I feel because it's, it's actually... <clears throat> 
for the majority of the collective, I feel like it's very recently that they have begun to feel a lot more um, emotional closeness to their feminine, regardless of whether you are in communication or not. So because these feelings were so intense, they're, they're not sure if you would actually feel the same way. Let me get a few more and I, I might clarify some of these. the King of Swords in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so you know, uh, some of them might still be keeping a little bit of a distance. I do get the sense that for some of you, um, you might feel that warmth coming from your masculine, like them just feeling a little bit warmer, a little bit more open, a little bit more... Um, I even want to say sentimental, maybe even a little bit more truthful. Like you might be able to see some truth, okay, coming from them. Because this is how they're feeling about you. They're they're opening up to their to their truth when it comes to the feminine. All right, that's been happening now for the past few weeks at least. However, I get that they they're still holding back here. Um, with that King of Swords being in reverse. And not only that, this is again showing how it's like in their minds, they don't have this clarity to really be able to think logically, um, especially concerning whether, like I said, whether you would still be available to them or whether you would still be as open to this connection as you were in the past. All right, and I say that because we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They're not sure if you would reject them. And, or even if you don't reject them, will you be able to ha find this happiness together? Because what if your expectations have changed? How have you changed? You know, they're thinking about these things because they're seeing you here as this Queen of Pentacles. Like you really having worked on yourself, you really standing strong and being grounded in your own power, you really having your life together. And whether you do or you don't, this is how they're seeing you. And so that can be a little bit intimidating. So let's actually clarify a few of these. Let me clarify the two swords. Alright, we actually had three pop out. We have the two of wands in reverse, the king of cups, and the eight of wands in reverse. <clears throat> yeah, so I feel like for the most part, a lot of them are holding back on some communication. You might be in contact, you might be in communication, but they're holding back um, the the depth of their feelings. They're holding back to what extent they're feeling what they're feeling here, all right? They're, the, they're feeling this King of Cups. There's a lot of love, I'm telling you. I feel like they have even gotten um, a little bit freaked out by the intensity of love that they have been feeling for you lately. And so they're not really going to express that, um, not to its full extent, okay? You might be getting little hints of this, but they are holding back from completely letting you know exactly how they feel here. Um, I, I feel like they want to. They want to, but they have some hesitations. Let's clarify the sun. The Wheel of Fortune and the Devil in Reverse. Okay, number one, there is a huge shift here, okay, that's happened. This is what I'm talking about. There's a huge shift that has, to, I feel, already taken place, all right, within the masculines. And because this, 
there's something toxic that has been removed. Um, possibly something in their energy has been cleared. Um, I don't know if maybe some of you have helped them with this, like maybe um, helping them to clear their energy field. Um, I don't know. <laughs> maybe sending them um, clearing energy or maybe you've booked a session with somebody who has cleared their energy or just anything of that sort. But I feel like something toxic has been removed, which has helped them, even if it wasn't from you, um, which has helped them to to remove certain fears, certain patterns in their thinking process, which was blocking them from being able to feel the truth. This is what has shifted and this is why we have the sun here and this is why you may be getting some hints of them being warmer. No matter what the situation is, no matter whether you feel like they're leaving the karmic partner or not or you know if whatever the situation is. Not only that, the second message here is that they see that change in you where you have broken certain um, cycles. You have broken toxic cycles. Even if you're in contact, even if you're in communication, there's something different about you. As I said, they're seeing you as this queen of pentacles. You're different now. You are more independent. You are more detached. You are not obsessing over the masculine in the way that, you know, may have been true in the past. This as well has also helped to open up their energy because the energy became more clear once the um, obsessive energies from the feminine were removed. Let's see the King of Swords in reverse. All right, we have Judgment. Yeah, see, so that truth is there. That truth is there. Um, they're just having a hard time thinking very clearly about it and having a hard time expressing it to you. But there's definitely something new about the masculine. There's like a rebirth in the masculine. And I really do feel like for a lot of them, it's because their energy fields have been cleared to an extent where it, it helped to open up other areas. It helped to clear out their minds and for them not to be so um all over the place not so jumbled yeah they might still not <laughs> have a good handle on this because this is still a new energy okay and this is why they're also holding back for the time being uh let's see let me see if i wanted to clarify anything here just to get a little more information um yeah let's see the four of swords and the tower which are in reverse Right, the king of wands and the two of swords in reverse here so this is for their energy towards the towards the karmic partner just going back to that so yeah here's the thing it's interesting because like i said all right with the eight of swords being in reverse they're beginning to see that this was that they were holding themselves victim to this situation okay to something that was not making them happy all right um there are absolutely no positive cards here pretty much okay when it comes to the to the karmic partner um, other than the Six of Wands, which does remind me of the success. And I feel like that's really about, well, what is the success about? It's about wanting to really get what they want. All right, which is the feminine. Obviously, what they want is to let go of the stuck situation. And so, yes, it, I just, what I was saying before is that it was manifesting in a way where it's a little bit extreme. So it might not be the best way. And that's why things still need to be healed in order for them to be a little bit more um, in moderation of how they manifest this, okay, and, and how they express it. So, with the King of Wands, it's like, yeah, they're feeling now, they're feeling powerful enough and confident enough to overcome that obstacle. It's just that they're going about it in a way where it might not really, it might not really work. All right. That's my point here. That's the message I'm getting. That's why we have the two of swords in reverse, because it might not actually lead to that success that they want. 
right now, okay? That's going to change um, because this is just the first step. And a lot of times, you know, when we, when we try to be successful for something, you know, we try it this way, it doesn't work, we try it a different way, you know, and we just continue on. Right now, this is the way that it is coming out and I feel like this is definitely a progression from being a people pleaser or from just being very submissive to the situation. Okay, I, I don't see them being passive at all. So it's just that the initial anger and resentment needs to come up to be processed before they can move on to the next step. All right, so let's actually move on to the feminine before we get to what is coming up. here as well okay we have deceit and we have the high priestess of spirit all right so there's you're still feeling like you've been deceived and more than likely rightfully so um i do feel like you are healing from that you are working through that but there's still more. So for some of you, you might feel like, like, no, you understand and that you've moved past that. Okay, well, maybe, okay, this isn't going to be for everybody. But what I'm seeing here is that spirit is asking you to try to find maybe hidden places within you, all right, where you might still feel that deceit. And that deceit might be affecting you in a way where it might be keeping you blocked. Now, it doesn't mean that you deny the deceit, that it, that it never happened. That's, that's a different thing. No, you, we don't deny the deception, okay? Whatever that deception was, whether it was that, this, that the masculine cheated, whether it was um, the masculine saying they were going to separate a karmic and then they didn't, um, whether they went back on their word, whatever, just, just not separating, whatever you feel like that deception was, okay? Which was possibly just not being authentic and truthful to the connection between the two of you there's this is what you're being called to go deep within yourself and find now for others of you it could be that you may not have felt deceived until now like you're now coming to this place where you have more respect for yourself and now you are seeing where this deception was that you couldn't see in the past so this is coming up in order for you to process this as well, okay? It's just part of the, um, it's part of the lessons and part of your soul growth, all right, to have experienced this in order to reach that place of releasing resentment completely. So it's interesting how the masculines are also feeling resentment at the moment towards the karmic partner. The divine feminine is feeling some sort of resentment and it might be on a subconscious level for some of you towards the Divine Masculine. So there's a little bit of that mirroring going on. And because you are connected and because there is mirroring, you know, the more that you work on this, the more they'll be able to work on, on their resentment towards the karmic partner as well, because that does need to resolve, all right? For most of them, that's gonna need to resolve before, before they can completely let it go. Alright, we have patience, regret, and we have inner child, okay, for, for the feminines here. So yeah, I know, patience. <laughs> it's not a surprise, right, to get this card. So yes, you have, num <laughs> you have been patient, number one, right? Um, number two, you're, you've been patient, but you're learning what patience also really means. It's not just waiting for somebody. It's not just waiting for somebody. Patience is, you know, being okay with whatever happens, being patient to see the outcome, even if you could control it. Because if you can't control it, so then you just sit there and you say, well, I've been patient. Well, there was nothing you could do anyway. That's not really being patient. Patience is, is something that is deliberate. If you're forced to be patient, then you, you, you're not learning patience. You're not learning that virtue. 
all right? Um, I'm getting here that you're also being asked to be patient with yourself when it comes to processing these emotions, all right, of deceit. Some of you might regret the connection or regret having spent time or regret maybe going back or gone into cycles or, you know, just the way that you have dealt with it in the past or how much you let it take over you, you know, and I'm getting your no, it's okay. It's okay. This was healing your inner child wounds. This happened so that you could find traumas that were buried deep inside you to, and this is how they were able to come up to be processed, all right, by your conscious mind so that you can heal and so that you can move forward. All right, so this deceit might be something that triggered another deceit that you may have felt as a child. All right, so just, yeah, allow yourself to just process these types of things and be patient with yourself, not just with the situation with the, with the masculine. All right, so let me just get a couple of tarot for you. <clears throat> and then we'll move on to the future energies. All right, we have Judgment in Reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. Okay. So I feel like this is a message for some of you, not not all of you, okay? Um, <clears throat> if you try, you might not even be aware of it sometimes, but you know, we all do this at, uh, in certain situations, not necessarily with our masculine, just overall in life, all right? Everybody does this. Some, we try to control a situation in little tiny ways where we might not even realize that we're doing it, you know, almost like using, you know, a certain asset, and we try to manipulate, you know, the outcome or a person to doing a certain thing or saying a certain thing. And I don't mean that in a bad way, okay? It can be very, very small and it can be <laughs> like just very little things, all right? It's not, I'm not saying it's bad, but what I'm getting here as the message, specifically when it comes to the masculine, trying to control or shift things or create a change towards the masculine situation, that might actually delay things. Because, um, yeah, you know, on, on a deep level, for some of you, it's very deep. For others of you, it's in your consciousness as well. You want this union, all right? Your soul wants this union. Um, But what's difficult to realize is that trying, trying too hard for that in any way can delay things, okay? You, you cannot change the situation. It's something that the masculine has to do on his or her own. I also get that, you know, you, there are things you cannot see. So always keep that in mind as well. There are things that you that you cannot see that are happening here behind the scenes. Um, <clears throat> you can and you can have faith, right? You can have faith in the situation that it will work out in the way that is going to ultimately be for your highest good. All right, because if the masculine is not ready, well, then it's not going to be in your highest good. If you're not ready again, it's not going to be in your highest good other problems will arise. Okay, so you can trust in that. All right, you can have faith in the masculine that they do have that ability, but don't expect it. So I hope that made sense. All right, so let's see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks or so for the masculine when it comes to the karmic situation.
All right, we have the Six of Swords in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands, could go either way. I'm seeing it as being in reverse. And we have the Three of Wands. All right, so what I'm seeing here coming up in the next week or so, could be a couple weeks depending, um, I don't see things getting much more peaceful just yet for the masculine and the karmic. I feel like things are escalating actually. I feel like communication is going to be um, a little bit off. Like there's just not going to be a lot of um, effective communication. I feel like they're each expecting different things from each other. They're expecting different reactions. They want different things. Um, I might do a, a, another reading separately just for the masculine and the karmic partner if you guys want. Because um, I'm not really seeing what the, what the karmic partner really what their energy really is, but I feel like this is actually for the both of them just expecting different results. It's a different result that the masculine wants and it's a different result that the karmic partner wants and so they're not like meeting halfway, they're not being able to, they're not able to have this effective communication and get somewhere, which then, you know, um, in turn will lead to a different energy, all right, because something's going to have to give. It can't, it's, it can't stay like this for, for too long. Let me actually clarify. All right, we have the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> reverse. Let me get one more. And the star. All right. So they're still here. All right. Things are not, <laughs> things are not getting better for them. Um, there's still going to be this tension, there's still going to be this arguing. And a lot of that is based in just overthinking things. Um, once they release that, I feel like the communication will at least become a little bit more clear. Okay, because right now, because it's like what I said, um, until they can release this resentment, Things, things cannot resolve, all right, because there's still that karma. So, and that doesn't mean that they're going to be friends. I'm not saying that they're going to feel, you know, great with each other, not at all. But certain things have to resolve. Certain karma has to play out before this ending can happen. And that's why we have death in reverse here. Because as long as there is not that more effective type of a communication, it's, it's not 100% it's not um, resolved. And so it cannot just end. And for a lot of them, I mean, it's not going to end even after, you know, if there's a separation, it, certain things can still play out, but in a, just in a very completely different type of a way. Um, I do see, though, that with the star being here, okay, things are on the right track, all right, even though they're expecting different things and there's still a little bit of, of a wait before this 100% plays out, there's still progress here. All right, they're being guided. Like I said, there's a reason why this is happening. This needs to happen in order for all the karma to play out and in order for just them to completely understand the stuckness. Okay, that even the way of communicating or trying to come to an agreement, even that can be a block. And this is what they're healing. Okay, so it's very positive actually. Um, all right, let's see their energy coming up for the feminines. Wow, okay, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Swords in Reverse, and Justice. 
All right, well, you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this attraction to you is just increasing and increasing. They're holding you on a very high pedestal here, all right? First with the Queen of Pentacles and now with the Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like it's, again, they're not communicating this 100%. I feel like what they want to do is they want... They want to be able to show you that they can make things right. They want to show you that they can bring things to balance. They want to show you that they can make the right decision here. They don't want to talk about it so much. They want to, to do it. And like I said, they are. You know, the first step here is this lashing out at the karmic partner, which isn't going to um, ultimately bring the result that they want, but it's a step forward. Okay, it's, it's one of the steps that they need to take. Um, and again, that's related to a fear, possibly a fear of just being really, really straightforward about exactly what it is that they want. Because again, like I said, you know, they're kind of avoiding that tower, but they're trying to move things in that direction. I feel like they're just trying to do it in a way where it's going to feel a little bit more um, natural, maybe a little bit more, just to keep it more mild. So if there's arguments, you know, they feel like it might help to lead to that, at least on a subconscious level, okay? If not conscious. I feel like for a lot of them, this is very, very deliberate and very conscious. And then for others, it's just, it's semi-conscious, semi-subconscious, all right? So, yeah, let me, are we clarifying anything here for the feminines? Yeah, let's clarify. I want to clarify justice. Oh, we have the chariot. This is exactly what I just said. <clears throat> they don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> they want to act. They want to take action. All right, towards you. They want to have already finished here before they begin opening up more about how they feel before they take that risk and fully express themselves to you because like I said you know there's that fear of whether you are still going to accept them are you still you know feeling the same way because they see this shift in you all right so I mean with that chariot yeah that's very very um motivated and driven energy here to make things right with you and for some of you you know this might even um play out in a different way where we're coming up in the next week or so they're trying to make things right with you at least to some extent by doing certain things not fully expressing like i said they're not fully expressing themselves but they might do certain things to begin bringing some kind of a balance or to make you feel like like you know they are trying to either make something up to you or make something feel more more right okay but overall i'm getting that they really want to make a decision here in action not just words <clears throat> all right so let's actually close out the reading i just had mending um fall out so yeah things are mending things are healing things are coming together basically i feel like in the way that they that they should be all right we have deep knowing let me get one and we have time for a nap okay so this is definitely a message for the feminine that you know deep down, you know deep down what is happening. I feel like if you can just tune in, you know, okay? There are things that you know that might not be apparent and you might be doubting yourself, all right? Trust that deeper knowing. Um, and at the same time, allow yourself to rest from this. Let it play out, right? Free will. That's another message there that could also be for the feminine. Um, just reminding you, the masculine has free will. You know, there's not much you can, you can do. Actually, there's not anything you can do, okay, at this, at this point, other than what you do for your own self. All right, so give yourself time um, and also make sure you get rest and at the same time, you know, rest from, from just indulging yourself too much into this connection, okay? If you feel like sometimes you can go a little bit 
overboard, all right, which is okay. So I will get one more from this deck here. Which has little messages on it. Practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. Yeah, you know, um, I know for some of you, it might be difficult to understand or to agree with this, but okay, I, I feel like this has to do with that deception. All right, um, having compassion for somebody who has mistreated you is not an easy thing to do. It does not mean though that you are a doormat. It does not mean that you approve of that behavior. It's just understanding a different perspective, understanding a different um, psychological processing, okay? Understanding just a different way of being, a different upbringing, all of those things and more. And at the same time, practice compassion for your own self as well. All right, because I know some of us forget to do that. Practice compassion for your own self. See things from a fresh perspective, even when it comes to your own situation and your own life. So I'm going to leave it at that. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this. Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Much love.